it's good to have options. It's absolutely, I mean, editors will always opt for, for coverage. I mean, it's good to have options. Sometimes, you, you know, with this scene, you know, every scene will, is different. Everything is different. You, you, definitely need, you definitely need certain things. Being undercovered in a scene, being undercovered in a scene is, it, it sucks. I mean, it's horrible. You, you know, you gotta like, you know, you have, you know, you don't have any control. You need, you need to cut away to something to make something else work. And if you don't have that, um, you gotta think of a way. Um, I, I think, I, I have a little, my own personal theory on this is sometimes austerity breeds genius. I mean, sometimes you, you know, by not having something, you create something even better you can, I and mean, I mean, what you're doing is you're, you're a problem solver. You're you're solving problems. You do that's what you're doing every day. You're building the movie, you're coming up to problems, and you're solving them. The whole game is announced by Al Michaels, the big game, and and we had to, you know, we now had to put the the, the announcer's voice in the game. And some of our stuff, we, Gavin was very he's a he's a maven for you know authenticity and all this all the the goals and stuff were very very accurate. But, um, but you know, when it came down to the, you know, the announcing, we, we, I got a transcript of the, of the game. I had that done. And I could put some of the actual transcript of the game against the movie. But we were making up a lot of stuff that, you know, the a, you know getting from point A to point B. So uh, luckily, my, my assistant was Canadian, uh, because Gavin does not, is not, Gavin's uh, you know, from New York, and I'm from New York. And we, we don't know that much about hockey, but we um, but uh, we had a you know we had an assistant that was, you know could tell us of the rules of the game, and we sat down and really wrote out. We had to write like a 30-page script of the announcing. Then we had another. Then we had a guy, not Al Michaels, because we didn't want to piss him off. We we had another guy, a guy sort of do the temp the temp announcing. A guy Nick Nixon, who uh, announces Lakers games, uh, the uh, the Kings games in in Los Angeles, and. Um, and uh, he came in and sat in front of the Abbott about four or five times, laid down the whole thing, and then we would amend it as we amended the picture. And then finally, when we were really locked, then we had Al Michaels for three or four days, and he came in, and he was really, he was really great to work with. I think he'd been, they did a TV movie of this in, in, the, in the early 80s, and he, they used his voice, and he was really unhappy with it, and they paid him a lot of money to do this, but he, you know, he's very skeptical. But when he saw the movie, he saw, like, the scope and everything, he was like, you know, he was really happy. He came in and did the whole thing.